If you post videos on YouTube only to find out that nobody actually cared about the piece of content that you created, well, you're probably making two massive mistakes. First and foremost, you're not doing the proper research before you end up investing your time and energy and some of your money into creating a piece of content. And secondly, you're not paying close attention to your audience or what your competitors are doing, which is another huge sin from YouTube. And that is why you're not getting the views or the subscribers that you want. But I promise you, the day that you begin using a tool like vidIQ in order to do research to guarantee that people are going to be interested in the topic that you're actually choosing to create content about, well, guess what? That could be the thing that completely changes your career forever on YouTube. In fact, it was the thing that changed my career. If I hadn't downloaded vidIQ four years ago, I wouldn't have gained over 580,000 subscribers. And the same thing for this creator, and the same thing for this creator, and the same thing for this creator. So what are you waiting for? Go to the pinned comment below and sign up for vidIQ right now because I'm about to share with you my three favorite features with vidIQ and how you can actually use them to increase the odds that you go viral or your next video gets more views than you could have ever imagined on YouTube because if you're not using this tool, you're at a huge disadvantage. First and foremost, you wanna be using the keywords feature, and there are several different reasons that you wanna use that feature, but there are a few favorites here that I have. First and foremost, if I do a search for a keyword, it would've been the keyword that I put in my title, and almost nine out of 10 times, there's probably a better keyword. For example, if I type Minecraft hacks in, about 30,000 people search for that a month. If I type in Minecraft hack builds, well, guess what? I wasn't gonna type that in because I didn't know that that was a thing, but if I go to their related keywords, I find out that that actually has three times the reach or even more than just Minecraft hacks. So what does that show me? It shows me that my initial idea wasn't good enough. It also shows me that by simply adding one word to my title, I could have expanded the audience that I was gonna hit by three X. And this could have meant that I got way more views for my hard work, my effort, and my money. So guess what? If you're not using this keyword tool to actually do a search and find out other related keywords that might be better or just other topics that you could be targeting, well then you're setting yourself up for failure and you're setting yourself up for a disadvantage because you might not even realize that the words that you're trying to target aren't something that people are interested in. And when it comes to how many people you wanna see interested in something, I like to only make videos that have more than 50,000 people interested in it. The reason being, if I'm gonna invest my hard work, my time, my money, well then I better want to make sure that it's going to be a good video that at least 50,000 people could see. For your niche, you might want it to be a lot bigger or maybe it might be a little bit smaller, but that's what I would stick with as a baseline. But I do wanna warn you, just using that feature, it's not going to be enough. The second thing that you need to take into consideration is what videos are actually trending for that exact keyword. Lucky for you, vidIQ does that too. In fact, I think this is one of vidIQ's best tools besides the last one, which is by far the most important, so make sure you stick around for it and you don't skip it. That being said, when it comes to the trending, the reason that this is so important is because you need to understand that YouTube is a competition. If you make a video about a topic, for example, real estate in Florida, you are going to be competing against all the other videos that were created for that thing, so you might as well try to figure out which ones the best are. Now you can do a search on YouTube and kind of be misled because one of the videos is five years old or one of the videos from three months ago and you don't actually know which one of these videos are still getting views because that video is five years old. Of course it's got 100,000 views. It's five years old. Now, what you can do with this tool is actually go down to trending and you're gonna be able to see the titles that are trending, the thumbnails that are trending, the creators that are trending, and these are going to be your competition. So you need to make sure that your thumbnail is better than theirs, your title is better than theirs, the hook in your video is better than theirs, and this is going to help you actually craft a better video because if you want to craft a better video and get more views for whatever content you're trying to create, you better make sure that your content's better than your competitors. In addition to that, you wanna make sure that there's actually trending videos down there because if there's not trending videos, it might be a sign that nobody's interested in that topic and it could actually save you a ton of wasted time. Now I do wanna emphasize something. Just because you go down there and see another creator has a lot of subscribers or is getting a lot of views, that shouldn't discourage you. That should actually make you incredibly excited because it means that there are a ton of people that are interested in that type of content or in that format or for that keyword and this should get you excited to be able to steal a little bit of their viewers. Now listen, I'm not saying that it's gonna happen the first video you make, but if you begin actually stealing at their mind share, guess what ends up happening? You can end up getting a ton more subscribers and a ton more views than you could have ever imagined when I first got on a YouTube. It looked like Gary Vee was huge. It looked like all of these other people were huge and I could have let that discourage me, but instead what I let that do is motivate me. Four years later, I'm incredibly happy that I made that decision. 
And this brings me to the most important vidIQ feature that I strongly recommend that you use, and it's being able to look at what videos are actually causing traction for your competitors. The reason that you wanna look at this, the mistake that I see so many small accounts make is they will go and look at a competitor, or they'll look at somebody that they look up to, they'll filter by most popular and think that that's the video that's driving the majority of views on their channel, so that's the video that they should create, and this could be a huge error because you don't know what videos are actually getting traction right now in this moment, or in this month, or in the last 48 hours, or whatever the case is. But now, with vidIQ's tool, you can actually see this, and this is gonna give you a ton of different insights, because that video that has all those views that you thought was a great video, have you ever thought maybe somebody just has all of their end cards going towards that video, or maybe that video went viral two years ago and hasn't gotten any views since, and you'll be able to see things like that if you use their competitor tool. And this is gonna be a huge advantage for you, because you're gonna actually be able to see what your audience, or potential audience, is going to be interested in in that exact moment, and you can use those things within your content. Content. On top of that, you could go in there and look at the script that they're using, look at the thumbnail they're using, look at the title they're using, look at the hook they're using, or even how many words they speak per second, because all of these things are going to have, be a huge insight to you so that you could determine what your potential audience is actually looking for, because maybe you're hooking your audience completely wrong. You're introducing yourself, saying hello, where your competitors just getting straight to it, providing value, or asking the audience a thought-provoking question, and that's the reason that they end up getting more views than you. And these are the reasons that I strongly and suggest that you begin using vidIQ. Now, if you wanna get guaranteed more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, you want me to personally look at your account tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and so much more, well then you need to keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers, and the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is 1,000 subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now, because if you're still watching this video, I'm gonna guess that you're above average, so the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high, and if you don't remember, you need 1,000 subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube, so this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags use, again, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers, I will give you your money back, zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story and I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please, go to the link in the description below, sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're gonna get more subscribers or you're gonna get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.